Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and with this video here I'm going to show you how to set up and use routes with VTank. So this was one of the requested videos when I asked for uh, advice of what type of videos to make and it was a pretty good request. Now this video is pretty much going to show you step by step of how to set up routes. So what you want to do is at the very bottom of the Verandy Sense uh, table list bar here you'll see Verindi tank it's the little hourglass thing with a tank in it click on that and go to the very last uh, tab here which will be route you can see all of the options in here navigation waypoints and stuff like that what you want to do or rather this should be blank what you want to do very first thing is switch it from circular to linear and then you can start adding routes as you can see here you want to click uh, the add button and it'll put this in here it'll put the coordinates of where the first point is so click add and then oh, I started uh, <laughs> I forgot to turn off navigate myself and then you want to click add again and it'll uh, do a point from point A to point B now it might not show the blue line for you at first depending on if you've never used the route system before in order to change this what you want to do is save a route first before uh in order to get the blue line to display to do this go to the profiles tab and where it says by character uh right here the second little arrow box down click copy to this is going to open up something in your chat window that says slash vt nav save what you want to do is save the route and then uh actually let me save this route real fast i'll just i can always just delete it later i'll do a uh video i'll save it as that now as you can see it'll pop up in this box and it'll say video.nav and then what you want to do is uh any single time you uh start to make another route or anything like that since you have one saved it should start displaying these blue lines which is a great uh way to figure out where your route's going where it's taking you and stuff like that so setting up a route is pretty easy with vtank uh it's an extremely straightforward uh system and uh all you need to do is you know set up pretty much from every single point in an easy fashion to get to remember vtank is a bot it's stupid so you don't want to like try to make it run through a wall or something like that or expect it to go around the go around a corner without actually having you make multiple points to go around the corner yourself. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second here. Let me turn off combat so I don't get interrupted by this Olthoy. As you can see, I made this route here. Now, uh, in order to go around a corner, you want to go to the middle area and click add. As you can see, it adds a point right here. So VTank will go to this area and then turn and then run down here. Now, see this big uh, thing here, this big uh, pretty much thing blocking the hallway? You'll want to try to avoid anything that VTank can get stuck on. So go to the polar opposite side of it and click Add. So let's see here. As you can see, uh, the blue line is going to get you from up there to down here despite it having a... Uh, you know not displaying because the terrain looking the way it does but uh that's okay that it does that I'll actually run back up there and show you a quick little uh I'll show you the quick little navigation and uh how it works just briefly to show you uh how I'll avoid this big rock cluster in the middle of the hallway after I finish looting of course la di da 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 alrighty now I'll do add there and then I'll do another add up here and this should avoid that big rock cluster I'll turn off combat and I'll come over to here and let me turn on navigate oops navigate now there we go it's following the path and turns around and it avoids the rock cluster like that there's still a chance you can get stuck on it but a lot of the times you will uh, avoid the rock cluster now let me start adding more points here I can run over here run over here add another point another one the key is you don't want to add points too far apart. Like I said, VTank is stupid. You want to uh, make it as simple as possible for the bot to work. And as you can see, I'm adding more and more points here. There's another big rock thing, so you want to hug this wall in order to get around. Hug it, hug it, and then we come into this big room where I'll turn combat back on because I want to explain how to get it working in here. Now you can see this uh, path goes down, down there. This is going to be the tricky part in order to get down there without actually getting stuck and uh, 
doing anything like that because uh you, it's it's a, it's very easy to get stuck on something. Uh, v tank gets stuck in a lot of different places depending on what dungeon you're in. You know, sometimes like getting back into a room like this, if you fight an old and the old foy like runs up top, you can run up top and then it'll try to get to the navigation point, but it will fail and get stuck. And uh, that's very important to remember. And there's ways around it, but it's difficult to you know build the program to get around it. Uh, and there's also things that can get stuck on, like say a mob's right on the other side of a very thin wall and your approach distance isn't that good. Uh, and it might run into the wall trying to attack the mob and then it'll eventually ignore the mob and go do something else. You, what you want to do is change, if, it, if you're running into a wall, you want to change this. So look at the monster, ring range, approach, and follow nav. Set all of them at where mine are, at least for starting. Uh, other areas in the game, you'll have to change this around a bit. Like monster, uh, that's how close a monster has to be in order to attack you. Certain areas and in, uh, in certain dungeons, you'll only want to do like three. Uh, any less than that, the mob would have to literally be like right on top of you in a in order for you to attack it. But if you use uh, five, the mob will have to be a pretty decent range in, away in order for you to attack it. Uh, and three, the mob has to be like. There, ha there can't be a wall in between you and the mob, even if the wall is small as hell. Uh, five is like the normal. Three is really, really close in case, you know, you're in a dungeon where you want to avoid certain areas or you keep getting stuck and uh, stuff like that. For other areas where you're outside, 15 would be a good monster uh, range. Like Withered, for example, one of the uh, leveling areas in the game, 15 is what I turn it to. Because the mobs are all outside and, you know, they're pretty far away at some times. So you want to keep it at 15 uh, in order to, you know, bypass them and get, you know, actually attack stuff. So uh, this is just a very, very short route right here. And I'm going to show you how it works in a second. I'm going to turn off combat so I can just run the route. And I'm going to click navigate right here. Ooh, I actually... Uh, now, if your plugin does that and it starts running into the wall like that, it's because it's trying to get to a different point of interest that is, you know, where it's trying to go. As you can see here, the little arrow pointing to point 0.5, which is where I left off. Now, I have to go back to point 0.5 and start the program in order to actually continue with it. Now, I'm going to be right here and I'm going to click navigate. As you can see, it found the point and now it's going to run back up to the start point up here. And then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to follow through it right here. It's going to follow this step by step by step, running from each of the points until I get to the final point here. You want to make sure it's set as linear. Otherwise, you know, it's not going to work that well. And as you can see, I got from uh, point A to point whatever it was back there. I guess you could call that like H, point H. Uh, now, there's a few different things you have to keep in mind when it comes time to uh, do this. If you're, if you're running from point to point with VTank and your character stops and he won't go unless you tap like a forward key or a back key or something like that, what you want to do is go into gameplay options. As you can see where I am now, go to, uh, I'm pretty sure it is config. Is it config? Let me find it in here. Maybe it's character. Oh, no, let me see. Let me find this first, guys. <laughs> uh, where is it? Well, somewhere in here. Oh, there we go. Input options. As you can see, it says invert mouse look access and turn your character with camera turning. If you have that clicked on, your character will go from point to point and stop and not be able, and not move because it's a bug with the game with auto run. So turn that off to have VTank run through all of these points without being interrupted by anything. That's very important to remember and uh, definitely something you want to keep in mind when it comes time to doing that. And as you can see here, due to this uh, thing being stuck here, I'm actually getting stuck when trying to loop this mob. And uh, that would pretty much be an endless loop that I'm getting stuck on. Now, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. And... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe to me for future Asheron's Call videos. And uh, as always, good luck, guys, and happy hunting.